began from a suburb in Lagos where a group of artists honed their skills getting knowledge from their mentor. Now, all they acquired is being displayed at the Quintessence Gallery in Lagos and Art House was there to capture the sights for your viewing pleasure. A warm welcome to the show. I'm Melinda Kilami. We have so much lined up, but we'll tell you all about it after our Artie quote. I don't see how art can be called art if its purpose is to frustrate humanity. It started years ago from Mushi, a suburb in Lagos, where some artists learned under the wings of contemporary artist Dr. Kunle Adeyemi. And that experience has given birth to this exhibition at Quintessence Gallery in Lagos. Twelve artists from a group called the Visual Explorators have come to the Quintessence Gallery to show the way they think, feel and desire in an exhibition titled Soulfulness. First thing is the interest in art. Um, people have seen us over time and uh, the integrity matters. They have seen us over time, particularly in the Mushi environment, and some of them would come and say they want to train. Uh, sometimes some parents bring in their uh, children uh, they don't want them to be wayward, they don't want them to be flippant here and there. And so uh, sometimes they bring them and uh, we say, okay, we can uh, begin to work together with them. And so these are some of the basic and then, you know, the criteria again, you must have an interest in art. Uh, if we found out that um, the student is um, not too refurbishable, uh, we move straight to the moral aspect of it and uh, uh, go to their parents. And so we tr train them generally uh, in these areas. Contemporary artist Dr. Kunle Adeyemi is the one leading the pack and he explains why they decided to do this now. Today's exhibition is uh, my input in uh, the art community. I uh, have um, uh, some of uh, my formal and informal students uh, who we work together. Uh, sometimes some people come to my studio and uh, they will train. Some have even gone through the forwards of higher institution, uh, but we uh, come together again, we train. Like I uh, was trained by some older artists, uh, Yusuf Grillo, Koladi Oshino, uh, Bruce Honor uh, Professor Wang Boje, Professor uh, Osai Gonwa. So I uh, choose this as a playback uh, to the community uh, uh, so that uh, we can actually help the coming generation. So sometimes we put ourselves together, and most times rather, we put ourselves together and uh, uh, teach ourselves uh, one or two things, uh, particularly concerning the ethics. Uh, the uh, skill aspect of art and uh, we do workshops together and uh, we train ourselves. Sometimes some of them, some of the students do not have uh, the formal training in art yeah, but we choose to uh, put them on the line, refurbish them and today you have seen some of the products of uh, such uh, students uh, who have actually gone through uh, uh, the Kuni studios. You know, to, so we, 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 we put ourselves together and call ourselves uh, the explorators. He's not only steering the affairs of the group, but making music with one of his works of art, where drummers make melodies. If the viewer looks closely, one can spot other instruments as well, laced with a color that exudes excitement. These works that uh, our people are showing today, particularly the explorators are showing, uh, could quality go for international works. You know, I have uh, been opportuned to go out of the country one or twice or more uh, to show and I found out that uh, these works uh, ranges with international works too. So definitely um, the works are of high standard and uh, know that we can actually do more 
Um, we, well, after this exhibition now, we come back again and review ourselves. You know, from time to time we meet and uh, we talk about the ethics of the profession. We talk about how we can actually present our works. We talk about the ideas, you know, that um, uh, we can actually propound or move uh, in visual art. And so the, essentially, this exhibition can actually be rated uh, with our international, with other international exhibitions so far. The other artists here talk about the different issues in their unique style, from what's happening in the society to the beauty of culture and tradition. In the exhibition, I have three of my works. And uh, what I use for those works, I am exploring the natural resources we have in the country, coconut shells. So I titled one, Seek and Find, which is made up of coconut shells. I, well, what I do is that when I get coconut shells, I cut them, then remove the dead bricks, and that's what I use for my art. Now when you look at the work I'm talking about, what I'm referring to, in life we are all struggling to get to a point in our life. So Seek and Find represents the struggle of man on earth. And when you get to where you want to get to, then the next thing is for celebration. That is why at the center of the work, I have a, a shell that is open, a kind of calabash. For instance, if you want to get married, you seek for the wife, and if you get the type you want, then they, 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 they will open the calabash to bless the marriage. So likewise, if you are struggling in life, the colorful things we want to have is in that calabash. I have uh, three works in this uh, group exhibition and one of them is uh, Sight of Destiny, another one is uh, Sweden Experience, and uh, of course uh, the, the last one that uh, has to do uh, with is uh, an image that is hiding some, somehow as uh, a building form, and it is uh, anonymous. So. The uh, site of destiny basically establishes uh, every individual in life there is a destiny. But one way or the other, the destiny is either distorted by uh, whatever along the line. So, but individuals have a lot to play concerning their destiny. Then the no longer anonymous is that uh, or anonymous is someone that is hiding in, under a, a, a shade or under hiding an information, or making it impossible for people to, to, to unravel. The way they approach it is to dig deep inside and produce something that's more than art for art's sake. That's what has inspired the title for the show. My work title, I Am Beautiful. Uh, and the story behind uh, I'm Beautiful is talking about uh, beauty. And beauty is not what uh, we can see. We believe it's, it's a facial thing that we can see, uh, but it's what we have inside. Impute your mind. How do you behave to people? Your character to, with people is what you have in you. It's not all about putting powder, you know, putting accessories on your body and you want to tell me that you're beautiful is what you have inside you, is what makes you beautiful. My work is the expression of my environment. I try as much as possible to represent what I see and things that inspired me. And those things that inspired me are mostly my environment, documenting what I see, because I realized that in the recent past, the West historian, I mean, the white men have been documenting our history for us. And I look at it that um, in this light, I should try as much as possible to document my own environment visually through my art. And that is what I've been doing ever since. Getting to this point was no mean feat though. It's practice to more practice than criticism from other colleagues in the team. So everyone is on the same page and quality is also not compromised. Some of us have a degree in art, or have a HND, some have ND, some pass through the studio as industrial attache. Uh, again, they still come back and they uh, want to know more about what we do. And so this essentially, it's a village of a kind. 
uh, that we do things together, particularly in the area of visual art. And uh, I'm happy today uh, that uh, another exhibition is being bathed by this group. Uh, we've had about two successive exhibitions. Uh, we have the open studio, uh, we have a dialogue of forms, and this today we are having another exhibition uh, which is titled Soulfulness and the quintessence uh, is on ground to host us. Haven't seen uh, the development so far, uh, uh, particularly within the group. Art is no longer uh, anonymous. It's becoming uh, a, a phenomenon that uh, everybody is aware of and uh, importantly it, uh, I, I'm using this particular medium to tell the world that uh, there is reason for uh, us to make it much more known to people than ever. That is, uh, starting from, uh, if you look at the Western world, the art of appreciation is taught, and that's why their, their society could hold at a high esteem everything that is within uh, the, the society. Art from the heart, that's what these artists have served the audience and hope they enjoyed this enough to come for another helping when they serve the next dish.